Hi, this is Douglas with Atlantic Software. In this tutorial, I'll show you just how quick and easy it is to create and send an email campaign using the Campaign Wizard. Setting up a new campaign is as easy as one, two, three, and four. First, click the Campaigns tab. Now, click New Campaign Wizard. In the New Campaign box, enter a name for your campaign. This can be any name and it won't be viewable by your recipients. In this example, I'll just take the default, the current date and time. Next, we choose a template from the templates list. To get started, let's choose the product placeholder. In this example, we'll pretend we're in the real estate business. Click Next, and your selected template is automatically inserted into your message. Now let's choose a compelling subject line. Uh, new houses on the market. In this example, I'll personalize the subject line. Here, I'm telling Email Marketing Pro to automatically insert my recipient's first name in the subject line. Now, we'll simply replace the placeholder images with our own. So for the banner, I'll choose my company banner. First, I select the existing image in the message. Then, I click the image icon. Next, I'll browse for the image on my hard drive. Please note that it's also possible to insert a URL for your image if it is stored on your website. This is actually the preferred way of doing it in the email marketing world. Now, I want to change the background color. In this template, my gray background is defined by an underlying table. So, I move my cursor to the edge of the table until it turns into the crossbar. I select Table Properties and I change the background color of the table to white. Great. Now, I just add my subheaders and change my product images. To change the links so they point to my own website, click the link and then select the hyperlink icon. Here under the URL, I put the link to my own site. I'll do example.com for example purposes. I can check to make sure the URL works by clicking check URL. This ensures that the link is live and working and will be clickable by your recipients. Now I just replace the company logo, the company text, and enter my unsubscribe link. Notice in the company name, if I drag too far over, it actually selects the entire table. See the little table icon that's lighting up at the top? I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I back off just a bit and select only the text. Now, I highlight the word unsubscribe and I click can spam, insert my unsubscribe link. Moving on to step three now, I select my group of recipients and I click next. Now, I review the campaign before sending it out to see who it'll be sent to, what the subject line will be, and other settings. Since I'm a ProMail customer, I'll go ahead and track who reads the email. Finally, I want to test and make sure my email looks okay and email clients. Email clients are software programs that people use to check email, like Outlook, Thunderbird, Windows Live, Gmail. So here I'll enter my test recipients so I can test the email and make sure it looks okay. When I'm ready to go live, I click Send Campaign. It's as easy as that. Email Marketing Pro connects to my outgoing mail server and sends my email message to the recipients. Notice in the campaign's grid that the campaign is now marked as sent. If we open the campaign, we'll see that it's now read only. This protects you from accidentally sending it to the same group twice. 
So let's say tomorrow I want to send different text, but I use but I want to use the same layout to send it again. To do that, we highlight the campaign, we click duplicate campaign, or we can right click and select duplicate campaign. This duplicates the message, the groups, and all the settings. So now we just make a few adjustments and we can send it again. I hope this tutorial on using the campaign wizard has been helpful. Next time, I'm going to show you some more about the message editor, more about the toolbar in it, and some advanced message editing techniques. Actually, they're not that advanced, and you don't have to know a lot about web design or email clients to use the message editor. There are really just a few simple tricks that once you learn, you'll be able to create any good looking email that you want. So we'll see you next time. At Atlantic Software, we gain by helping you gain.